This video is sponsored by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, build your online presence with Squarespace. Hey everyone, I'm Ace of Clay and welcome to another sculpting video. If you're new here, I'm a sculptor and every week I make a new sculpture. In this video, we are back in the hidden world and I'm revealing the next guide. Today, you get to meet Samson the Deer Guide. Throughout this entire video, I will be sharing Samson's backstory and lore, so make sure you watch the whole thing so you don't miss any details. If if you're not familiar with guides in the hidden world, they were once people that were targeted by the entity to be turned into a mutant, but their pure hearts withstood that evil and they became guides instead. Each guide represents a different animal and receives some of that animal's positive traits and they can use that to help people fend off the mutants. So again, today you get to meet the deer guide, Samson. And before we get started, I have a couple new sculpting products up at aceofclay.com right now. These are just a couple roller sets. This is the acrylic roller two pack. They're just pretty straightforward acrylic rollers. They're crystal clear. You can see what you're doing underneath them always handy to have these. And then I have a premium roller that includes thickness rings to roll out even sheets of clay. So what you do is you put two of the same color rings on each end of the roller and you roll your clay in between them and the clay will only get as thick as the thickness of the rings. The purple ones are two millimeter and the black ones are four millimeter. I really like this one because most pasta makers only go up to two millimeters at the widest setting. And with this, you can get a four millimeter thick sheet of clay and it's also longer than a pasta maker so you can roll out larger sheets. So again, both of these products are available right now at aceofclay.com. And look, my picture's on the back. All right, now without further ado, let's meet Samson the Deer Guide. All right, I've got my four inch wooden plaque. I drilled some holes in it for my aluminum armature wire and I shaped out Samson's shoulders and legs and attached his arms with some more wire. Now I'm brushing on some bacon bond so I can easily apply some Super Sculpey Ultralight to bulk out his torso. Once his torso is the shape that I like, it's time to bake him. And once that's baked and cooled down, it's time to start covering it in clay. I'm using Super Sculpey Original. In the heart of a bustling town, Amidst the ebb and flow of life's rhythm, there dwelled a young soul named Samson. At 19, he stood apart from the crowd, his gentle demeanor and love for the arts, marking him as an outlier in a sea of conformity. Misunderstood and often the target of ridicule, Samson found solace in the quiet corners of his world, where brushes danced across canvases and colors spoke the language of his soul. Now I'm just getting the shape of his body down. I'm adding the clay for his arms, getting him into his final position, and smoothing everything out so I can start adding my details. He's going to be holding a backpack over one shoulder, so I have his arm positioned like this so it can hold onto one of the straps. The first step to detailing his clothes is of course to make them look like clothes, so I'm adding some snakes of clay to create folds and wrinkles. After attaching the snakes of clay to create other wrinkles, I'm creating some more with my super poker tool. This tool will be available in my sculpting tool set that will come out in the spring. Now it's time to start making his shirt. I want him to be wearing a sort of thick flannel with a hood on it. So we're just going to add this piece of clay here to create that bottom edge of his shirt and then blend it in with the rest of his body. Now I'm creating the opening of his shirt and some corresponding folds. Unlike his peers, Samson shunned the spotlight, content to linger on the sidelines, and let his creations speak volumes for him. Yet beneath his unassuming facade lay a heart aglow with kindness and love, a beacon of light in a world shrouded in darkness. 
Now, Samson spends most of his time in the forest, so he's got to stay warm, so I'm going to give him a jacket over his flannel. And because this jacket has some free hanging areas, I'm making it out of cosclay because cosclay stays flexible after it's baked. I don't have to worry about anything breaking. I'm just going to blend that cosclay into my Super Sculpey and go from there. Now I'm just attaching the hood for his flannel. And using some more cosplay, I'm going to finish off the collar for his jacket and then add another hood for that. To finish off the coat, I'm sticking on some pockets with buttons. Like I mentioned earlier, he's going to be carrying a backpack, so I want to bulk this out with some aluminum foil just so it's as light as possible. And using my Ace of Clay Premium Clay Roller, I am going to roll out a sheet of clay to cover that foil. One fateful day, as he made his way home from another day of enduring taunts and jeers in the form of the Entity, seeking to twist his purity into darkness, the Entity struck, intent on transforming Samson into a mutant. But against all odds, Samson's heart remained steadfast, his resilience proving greater than the evil that sought to consume him. And so, instead of succumbing to the darkness, he emerged as something altogether different, a guardian of light amidst the shadows, the deer guide. Now I'm just moving along, detailing the backpack and giving it some wrinkles. To finish off the backpack, I'm pressing in some seams. And lastly, I'm adding some straps, out of cosplay of course. One's going to be around his shoulder and the other one is going to be free hanging. And because this backpack is so light, I can just stick it on with some bacon bond. But I like to make the bacon bond a little bit stickier by messing with it a little bit, brushing it around, rubbing my fingers on it, just getting it a little tackier than just directly sticking it on. And with a firm grip, that backpack ain't going nowhere. Now let's figure out that other strap. I want it to look as natural as possible, so I'm going to be really careful with how I position it. With the gift of exceptional hearing and the ability to commune with the thoughts of animals, Samson embraced his newfound role with unwavering determination. Unlike other guides who waited for the call of distress, Samson actively sought out mutants, his keen senses lending him ever closer to those who threatened the balance of the world. And going with this guy's casual outfit, I'm going to give him some white tennis shoes. I modeled these after Air Force Ones, if you're wondering.
All right, we're gonna take a quick break from today's video to talk about our sponsor, Squarespace. Whether you're a big business, a small business, a freelance designer, or a sculptor like me, Squarespace has everything you need to showcase your brand, sell your products, and more. I've been using Squarespace for over five years now, and this was even before they started sponsoring me, and I could not be happier with my experience. Their products are so streamlined and so easy to use that managing my website, aceofclay.com, is truly a breeze. Some of my favorite features include the portfolios and galleries. In my line of work, I have to show my work to the world, and Squarespace's beautiful portfolios allow me to do just that. I have an online shop where I can sell stickers, plushes, posters, sculpting supplies, and more, and Squarespace makes everything so easy. And I'm not kidding when I say that. I can track my inventory, print shipping labels, I get notifications when something sells. Everything I need is right there in the platform. Platform. You can even sell digital downloads. They really have everything you need to start selling online. And at this day and age, if you're an online business, you've got to have a social media presence. And Squarespace allows you to integrate all of your social media platforms into any page of your website. So if all of this sounds good, head on over to squarespace.com, start a free trial. And when you're ready to launch your website, go to squarespace.com slash ace of clay to save 10% on your purchase of a website or domain using my code ace of clay. Thanks again Squarespace for sponsoring this video, now back to our sculpture. Now it's time to work on those hands, making these also out of cosplay just so none of the fingers break off later. To finish off this arm I'm going to give him a tiny beaded bracelet. Guided by a magical gold compass that whispered secrets of the nearest mutant's whereabouts, Samson ventured forth, his resolve unshakable and his purpose clear. Around his neck, he bore a skull talisman, a grim reminder of the battles he'd fought and the evils he'd vanquished. Now it's time to start sculpting his head. Of course, this is going to be shaped like a deer and it's going to look like a mask because he's wearing a white your mask so it's just going to be attached to his face we have no idea what he looks like underneath just going to shape out the basic structure of a deer head and go from there using some toothpicks for armature we're going to create his ears Now I'm just going to pre-poke some holes for his antlers and make these out of my aluminum wire. Once I have the main piece done, I'm just going to use some floral wire to create another piece coming off of it. And when I wrap this around the clay, it's going to get nice and embedded and not go anywhere. Because Samson is kind of young, I actually was going to give him smaller antlers like an adolescent deer. He's not fully grown, but I just think the full size antlers look way cooler. So full size antlers it is. Like all the other guides, I'm going to distress his mask with some cracks. These symbolize all of the battles he's been in with mutants. Before I pre-bake him again, I just want to brush the surface with some clay softener to remove fingerprints. But amidst the darkness, a light shone bright. A loyal companion named Lily, a possum who had witnessed Samson's transformation and stood by his side through every trial and triumph. 
Bound by a bond deeper than blood, Lily carried a piece of Samson's essence within her heart, their fates forever entwined in the tapestry of destiny. After his head's been pre-baked, it's time to attach his hair. Pre-baking the head on any sculpture makes it so much easier to sculpt the hair because you don't have to worry about smashing the face while you're doing it. And of course, we're going to add some little flyaways out of cosplay. This guy is going to have messy red hair. Now I'm sculpting his magical gold compass and I'm going to stick it in his hand. The strap that it's going to have is going to be made out of floral wire. And around his neck of course is that necklace that's going to have a skull button from one of the mutants that he killed. And now it's time to sculpt his little friend, Lily. I want her to be this cute, stylized little possum. Just gonna press in her eye sockets, at her eyes, her tiny little fingers, her tail, her ears, and all of her possumy details. Before I detail the rest of her fur, I'm going to stick her on his shoulder. Just going to add some bacon bond and she goes on just like that. Yet, for all his compassion, Samson was no stranger to the shadows. His antlers bore the scars of battles fought and victories won. Each scorched mark a testament to the fire that burned within him. A fire fueled by justice, tempered by mercy, and forged in the crucible of adversity. And for the final touch on Lily, it's time to add her tail. This is going to be wrapped around his arm a little bit too. Now I'm just gonna dab on some bacon bond here and there, remove some fingerprints from all that uncured clay, and we're gonna bake him one final time. And once he's baked and completely cooled down, it's time for paint. All the paints that I'm using are Folk Art Matte Acrylics and Americana Deco Art. Now I'm going to paint a plaid texture on his flannel, like so, starting with a wider, darker brown color, and then I'm going to go over one edge of these lines with a thinner, darker brown color. And boom, you got plaid. Now let's paint his hood and the rest of his jacket. Now let's finish off that little skull. For his backpack, I'm just brushing on a brown color and wiping off the excess. I think brown paint over Super Sculpey Original in beige looks so much like leather. Like, look at that. 
How cool. And so easy and fast and effective. Super easy and super effective. Haven't said that in a while. Now let's paint up his chinos. And now for his white Air Force Ones that we're going to dirty up a little bit. Now for Lily. And so, with Lily perched upon his shoulder, and determination burning bright in his eyes, Samson the deer guide ventured forth, a beacon of hope in a world besieged by darkness, his journey unfolding like the pages of an epic tale, written in the language of courage and boundless love. And that's Samson the deer guide. After painting his mask and antlers this nice bone color, we're going to add a nice antiquing to it with some watered down dark brown. I'm brushing this on liberally and then wiping off the excess quickly with a paper towel and my fingertip. If you want to do this but you don't want to do it quickly because the paint dries too fast, they do sell acrylic extenders which prevent the paint from drying too quickly and it gives you more time for antiquing. Now let's paint the inside of those eyes. And using a super fine paintbrush, let's bring out those cracks. Now for his red hair, I just want to go on with this nice auburn base coat and then we'll do a dark wash and some lighter red dry brushing. If you want to lighten the color red, add yellow, don't add white because then it'll turn pink. Now I'm going to bring Lily's eyes to life with some Americana Triple Thick Glossy Varnish, paint his base, and then add those scorch marks I mentioned earlier to his antlers. And just like that, the seventh guide has been revealed. Say it with me. And he's done! Samson the Deer Guide is complete. Let me know what you think of him in the comments. It's been a minute since we've made a guide character, I will admit. I think the last one I made was Greylock, and that was like back over the summer in like July 2023. It was kind of refreshing going back into the good side of things in the hidden world. Again, I would love to know what you think of this guy in the comments. I think he might be my new favorite. I don't know. It's it's Winston always just has my heart, but you know. I don't know, maybe Samson, maybe Samson will be my new favorite. As always, thank you so much for watching and being here. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, X, and TikTok at Ace of Clay, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.